Hello, and welcome to Joomla Development 101. In this lecture series, we're going to be looking at creating a Joomla module, and in this particular lecture, we'll be focusing on the view files. In previous, we have discussed the helper files, the main module file, and now we're going to be looking at the view files and how we should create those for our module. First, we should review a couple of facts about Joomla module views. All the views are going to live inside a TMPL folder. This is important as it allows templates to override the default layouts by placing an HTML and then module view folder within the template. Secondly, you can define multiple views and select which view you would like to display via the module parameters. So, now that we've identified these couple of key concepts, let's begin by looking at the Mod Smart Welcome View folder. In our IDE, we're going to create a new file within the TMPL folder. We will call this file default. In the default file, we're going to start with our standard header. Again, it's PHP, and then the package, which is Joomla site, the sub package, which is the module Mod Smart Welcome, our copyright, and our license. We will also add the defined JEXEC or DAI on line 10 to make sure that this code cannot be run from anything outside of the Joomla CMS. Everything that follows after this is just straight HTML and CSS. We want to keep our PHP logic as little as possible within the view files. Because we're going to be displaying a message we're simply going to use some default bootstrap CSS here. I'm going to create a new div and put a class of alert and alert info and I'll end the class. In the middle I'm going to want to place our message. If we look back at the mod smart welcome PHP file we'll see that we do have params clearly defined and the show variable. The show variable is going to be a true or false result, and if true, it's going to be displaying our layout. Now what we need to do is simply echo out the message to display. I'm going to call the welcome message parameter from the params object. Ending our PHP tag and saving the file, and the default.php file is complete. What we can do is go ahead and create a second file now as well, and we'll name this warning.php. I'm going to put the same header in here, and then what I'm going to do is create a second div class alert and alert warning, and then I'll add an i class in here as well, icon, icon warning php echo params get welcome message in the i tag and then also end the div. Saving that and now I have two different view layouts, a default and a warning layout. Now that I have my layouts, what I want to do next is to zip this package for installation. So I'm going to select everything in the folder and compress it. I'm going to rename this Mod Smart Welcome. Next I'm going to navigate to the admin panel of my website. Going to the extension manager, I will then choose the file that I have just created, upload and install. The module has installed successfully and you'll notice that again as with the plugin, the language strings have yet to be replaced. We will be doing that in an upcoming lecture. Next we can go to the module manager. Here we can see the mod smart welcome showing first on the list. This was the one that we have just added to the system. You'll notice the language strings are still untranslated at this time. If I click on the title it opens the module and I can see all the details of this particular module as I created them. The first tab holds the standard details that are associated with every module. 
The second one holds the options that are more relevant based on the XML file and the params that I defined. Looking under Basic Options, I see the two labels and the fields that were created in the Basic Params section of my XML file. Clicking on the Advanced Options will show me the advanced options that were created in the XML file. You will notice the Alternative Layout with Default and Warning. These are the extra layouts that I created in the TMPL folder of the module. The last tab menu assignment is again another standard Joomla field. So now we've successfully created a module and let's check to see if it will display on the front end if we assign it correctly. I'm going to name it Welcome Message. We will show the title and we'll pick a position that we should be able to see on the front end of the website in the top center position. We'll change the status to published and let's go ahead and we'll set both the number of visits necessary before this message is no longer triggered and a message to our user. Next let's assign this to all pages. And then I will save and close. Opening the window in a new tab, I now see my welcome message showing in the top module position. If I refresh the page, it shows again. And if I refresh the page, it's no longer present. I have now overrun the number of visits necessary for that module position to show. If I change the number of visits necessary and save, refresh the home page, the message shows again. Refreshing a couple more times and again the message disappears because I have now visited the site more than the six times. This means that I have correctly created my module and I'm using cookies to display it at the appropriate times. The last thing we should do is check to make sure that our layout options in the advanced option section works as anticipated. So clicking on the advanced options and changing my alternative layout to warning and saving the module, I will also need to increase my count total again, refreshing the page. Now shows me the welcome message, but you'll notice that it has a different layout. This is the warning layout with the exclamation icon in the front of it. Refreshing again and one more time, and the module disappears still as it should because it has overrun the count total. We have now created a Joomla module with multiple layouts. In the next lecture we will look at a couple of integration techniques as well as some further uses that we might be able to do with this particular module. At this point though you should feel fairly comfortable creating a Joomla module from scratch. If you have questions please don't hesitate to ask.